out of Kanawha County. One man is dead and another hurt after a shooting in Dunbar. Good evening. I'm Tim here. And I'm Brittany Hoke. Thanks for joining us tonight. This happened early this morning in Dunbar, and police say that two men were arguing when one of them pulled out a gun and opened fire, hitting the other man. Investigators say that the alleged gunman then took his own life. News Channel 3's Katie Anderson spoke with neighbors today who say that they were awoken by those gunshots and saw the devastating aftermath. It's really sad as you see somebody one minute and then the next few hours they're gone. And it's not fair for the little boy. With tears in her eyes, a woman who did not want to be identified describes her neighbor. He just seemed like a really sweetheart. He really did. Who died last night after shooting a man and then turning the gun on himself. It's just not right. Not right. Some father's gone. Dunbar police say it happened around 1.30 Monday morning at this home on Westmoreland Drive. Neighbors say they woke up to arguing and the sound of gunshots. Just pow, 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 pow really loud and fast. It sounded like the gun was empty. Police say the suspect and another man were fighting when he pulled out a gun and fired shots in the victim's car, hitting the victim in the head. When police arrived, they say they found the suspect holding a gun. I heard him say, drop your weapon. And right then we just heard the shot. It was over. Pretty terrifying. Terry Brown, who lives across the street, was playing Xbox. Playing GTA 5, didn't think anything of the first initial noise. But quickly and found out the gunshots were not from his game. I looked out the window and noticed my neighbor shooting at some dude in the truck. A tragic scene that's left neighbors shaken. I hadn't been able to sleep at all. I tried to, I couldn't. What bothers me, I guess, most of all is the child, and he's only four years old, and he's not going to have his daddy. Now, police say the victim does not have life-threatening injuries and is expected to be okay. Police have not released the names of the two men involved in the shooting yet, but Brittany, they say they will release the names as soon as tomorrow. Very sad situation, Katie. Thank you. And once police do release those names, we'll be sure to let you know here on WSAZ and, of course, over on our website, WSAZ.com.